All right, we're ready for our final test of the EcoFlow Delta II power station. We're going to use it to run our refrigerator today to see, refrigerator freezer, to see if it'll run it for eight hours so that we can use it overnight during a power failure and then recharge the Delta II during the day using our generator. So it'll be like a hybrid car. It'll be using electricity when it needs it, and um, and then a uh, propane-powered generator to re to recharge it during the day. So I pulled the refrigerator out from the wall so I can get access to the power, and we're going to be using the extension cord, heavy-duty extension cord, is a 15-amp extension cord, <clears throat> so that I can push the refrigerator back in so we can actually use it because it's not really usable pulled out this far. So I'll set that up, and then we'll we'll plug it into the Delta two and see how it does. One other thing I'm going to do is we're going to be monitoring the the um, temperature in the refrigerator during the day. So it's minus two in the freezer, 38 degrees in the refrigerator, and those are the those are the recommended settings. So as long as it's running, it should be able to maintain those settings. But we'll uh, check that too, along with everything else. All right. Fortunately for us, uh, there's enough room above the refrigerator for the uh, cord to go through because of these uh, hinges stick up in the front so there's a there's a gap back here that can handle that so I didn't push it all the way back in just enough so that it'll work okay and uh, no problem opening the doors in the freezer all right so we're ready to try this out let's see so let's double check the charge here yeah, so it's 100% charged. I charged it up overnight. There's no load right now. And uh, we'll unplug it from the refrigerator from here and plug it into the EcoFlow 2 after we make sure the AC power is on. Okay. All right, so there's two grounded plugs in the back. It actually looks like they can be 20 amp plugs, which is helpful. All right, so it's plugged in. Let's look at what's happening over here. All right, so the load is uh, cycling. It's 151 watts right now. This is going to run five hours. Hopefully over time it'll stabilize and be able to run longer than that. We'll see. Five hours really wouldn't be enough, so. All right, so it's running. Let's check the refrigerator. All right, so the freezer went up a couple degrees while we were unplugged it, but it should go back down a few minutes. The refrigerator is one degree over its uh, over its uh, recommend. So now it's not, it got down to 38. And this, this should go down to minus two in a little while. So, all right, so we're starting this test at uh, 8:07, and we'll see if it can run for eight hours. Yeah. So now that the refrigerator is happy for a minute, it's not pulling any power. It's going. You know, it's. The EcoFlow says 30, 40 hours of uh, 75 hours, 83 hours of runtime. So it's only when it's drawing power that it's uh, going to be showing a low uh, runtime. But it does, doesn't. The refrigerator does not run continuously, so that's why this is going to hopefully going to work. All right, so it's been an hour and we're down to 83 percent. So that means it's only going to run for five hours. So that's kind of disappointing. Uh, we'll keep monitoring it every hour and see how we do. So if that's true, I would have to buy the auxiliary battery that can daisy chain into this to give it double the power. That would give us our eight hours, ten hours, I guess. All right, it's been two hours. Let's see. So the temperatures are holding, minus two and 38. That's our set points. Let's go check the EcoFlow and see how much power it's used up. I found a 76%. So it was 83% after one hour, so it's slowing down. It used about yeah, less than half the power as far as a percentage. So that's actually encouraging again. Maybe it will last the full eight hours. We'll see. When it's actually drawing power, it's uh, you know only showing four hours remaining. But remember again, it doesn't the refrigerator doesn't run all the time, so we'll keep checking it. 
and see what happens. All right, so it's been three hours and it's down to 61%. So that means it used about, um, I think we're at 76. So it used 15% over the last hour. So again, not, not looking great for eight hours of use, but we'll keep going until it runs out and we'll see what happens. Huh. That's weird, the power shut off for some reason. All right, well, it's a little over five hours and we still got 21% left, so. We might make it, we'll see. Let's try the power shut off though. Yeah, the AC power is off in the back. That's not encouraging, how would it do that? So the refrigerator was off. Let's see what its temperature is at. So the freezer got up to 16 degrees. That's not great. Hmm. Well, that's kind of lame. It's shut off for some reason. I'll have to look into that. Why did it shut off? Of course, now, since the refrigerator is um, uh, warm, it's going to run, it's going to pull a lot of power to get the temperature back down. So. All right, well, the refrigerator is down okay. The freezer is going to take a lot of power to get back to uh, minus two. So you're going to have to turn off this or stop this test. And um, I'm guessing I'm going to have to get the extra battery. I think that's the only, if I want to be sure to be able to get through the night, I'm going to, have to get, I'm going to have to get the extra battery. So that's another 800 bucks or something. All right, well, that's our test. The answer, my answer to my question is no, the EcoFlow Delta II power station cannot run the refrigerator for eight hours so can't even run it for about five hours so the, the original estimates original estimates uh back at the beginning there well, a little over five hours are probably about right so unfortunately i was i missed the four hour check and at some point i guess when the power got the reserve got low enough it shut off so all right so I'll have to think about if I want to really get the extra, um, get the extra battery or just see what, um, whether this is good enough. I'll have to think about it some more. Huh. That's weird, the power shut off for some reason. All right, well, it's a little over five hours and we still got 21% left, so. Yeah, the AC power is off in the back. That's not encouraging, how would it do that? Hmm. Yeah, so the refrigerator was off. Let's see what its temperature is at. Uh, the freezer got up to 16 degrees. That's not great. Hmm. It's shut off for some reason. I'll have to look into that. Why did it shut off? Of course, now, since the refrigerator is um, uh, warm, it's going to run, it's going to pull a lot of power to get the temperature back down. So. All right, well, the refrigerator is down okay. The freezer is going to take a lot of power to get back to uh, minus two. So you're going to have to turn off this or stop this test. And um, 
I'm guessing I'm gonna have to get the extra battery. I think that's the only. If I want to be sure to be able to get through the night, I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get the extra battery. So that's another 800 bucks or something. All right. Well, I, I brought the app up after searching online, and the <clears throat> unit timeout set for two hours. So I'm gonna change that to uh, 12 hours. And then the AC timeout is 12 hours, so if you don't, it doesn't have any load for 12 hours, which it should have had a load more often than that. So there's a firmware update. I could try that. That might make a difference. So I guess I'll do that. But all right, it's time to see how well our generator. We have a Champion uh, dual fuel generator that's running off propane right now. It's gonna put out 30, 3,000 watts on. Um, Propane, so that's plenty enough to charge up our EcoFlow. So I ran the EcoFlow down to 10%. And uh, so we'll start up the generator, then we'll plug it in, and we'll see. We'll run it, we'll run it for an hour off the generator and see how much it can charge it up. All right, so we're going to start our generator. I have, I have a separate review of this generator on my channel, so you can look that up. Maybe I'll put a link in the show notes. Uh, so what I usually start with the, see, it's a battery start. It also has a pull cord in case the battery doesn't work. So I usually start with the choke out, it seems to work better. All right, so we're gonna turn we're gonna turn the economy off. We're gonna we're gonna turn the economy off because we want it to charge up faster. So let's go ahead and plug this in. All right, so the EcoFlow is starting to get some power. All right, on the app, I have it limited to 600 watts charging at a time because I don't want to overload our circuit in the garage. So we can change that, the charging speed. We'll run it up to 1,200 watts. All right, now it's working. So for some reason, while it was uh, plugged in, it wouldn't, uh, the charging speed setting wouldn't change. So I unplugged it, changed the setting, and then plugged it back in, and now it's charging at 1.2 watts. 1.2, 1 1.18 uh, kilowatts. So it says it's gonna take about an hour to recharge. So we're gonna uh, run it for an hour, and then come back and see how well it did. All right, well, the generator ran for 40 minutes before the gas tank ran out. So I always have two gas tanks, the other one's back in the shed there, so. <clears throat> and it went from 10% to 67%, 77%. So I, I could believe that it would charge up in an hour. It's charging at 1,200 watts, and there's only 1,000 watt capacity, so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.